my select designer from the Museum of Modern Art, What is Good Design Exhibition 1944-1956 is Charles and Ray Eames. Charles Eames was born on June 17, 1907 in St. Louis, Missouri. Ray Eames was born on December 15, 1912 in Sacramento, California. Charles briefly studied architecture at Washington University in St. Louis on a scholarship, but after two years of study, he left the university. Sources claim that he was dismissed for his interest in modern architecture. The university reportedly dropped him because of his two modern views. While at Washington University, he met his first wife, Catherine Woman, whom he married in 1929. A year later, they had their daughter, Lucia. In 1938, Charles moved with his wife and daughter to Michigan to further study architecture at Cranbrook Academy of Arts, where he would become a teacher and head of the industrial design department. Ray studied painting with Hans Hoffman in New York City before moving to Cranbrook Academy, where she met Charles Eames. Together with Sinarine, she would assist with a prize-winning furniture design for the New York Museum of Modern Art Organic Design in Home Furnishings competition. In 1941, Charles and Catherine divorce, and he marries Ray later that year. They then move to Los Angeles, California, where they continue to work on their furniture designs. The Eames would further develop molded plywood products, including chairs and other furniture, as well as splints and stretchers used for the US Navy during World War II. In 1949, the Eames would design and build their own home in California. Their design and innovative use of materials made the house one of the most important post-war residences anywhere in the world. Charles Eames died of a heart attack on August 21st, 1978, while on a consulting trip in St. Louis. Ray Eames then died in Los Angeles, 1988, 10 years to the day after Charles' death. They are buried next to each other in the Calvary Cemetery in St. Louis. The object that I have chosen from the exhibition What is Good Design, Museum of Modern Art, 1944-1956, is the Charles and Ray Eames La Chairs. They designed this lounge chair for the Museum of Modern Art 1948 International Competition for Low Cost Furniture Design. Its name references both its function as well as the Gaston's La Chair's floating figure sculpture in which the shape of the lounge chair was based on. This lounge chair was part of the Good Design Exhibition Museum of Modern Art 1944-1956 as it displays the principles of good design by Dieter Rams. Good design is innovative. The lounge chair is innovative as the chair is made out of two bounded fiberglass shelves to give the lounge chair a one large seamless organic shape and curves that you couldn't get with traditional materials. Though it is because of this that the lounge chair was unable to go into mass production as the design was ahead of its time. Good design is useful. The lounge chair is useful due to its curves that it has with the organic shape. It isn't just a chair or a lounge, it is both, allowing the user to sit and recline in any position due to the unique curves and the organic shape of the lounge chair. Good design is honest, and the Eames lounge chair is, as the lounge chair is just only being a lounge chair, so when you see it, you know what it is and how to use it. There isn't anything there to distract you with it trying to be something else that it's not. As the design of the lounge chair is staying honest 
with itself. Good design is long lasting and this design is that. As the materials it is made from such as fiberglass which is used in boats but also having chrome base with natural oak feet but the design of the chair is also long lasting as this design will still work in many homes today. Good design is as little design as possible. The lounge chair fits this as it only has the parts to serve its function as there isn't anything part of the design that doesn't need to be there giving the lounge chair a simple organic form. What I have learned from these two designers is that design doesn't have to be overly complicated with lots of details and unnecessary design that doesn't have anything to do with the main function of the design. As Charles Ian puts it, one of the many things we hit upon is the quality of the host, that is, the role of the architect or the designer is that of a very good, thoughtful host, all of whom's energy goes into trying to anticipate the needs of his guests, those who enter the building and use the objects in it. We decided that this was an essential ingredient in designing of a building or a useful object. And this is something that I'll have to put into practice, as I often just design something overly complicated that distracts the guests from what is important with my design. So I'll have to work on making my designs simple and cut the unnecessary design out.